We've posted a resilient trading performance in rapidly changing market conditions with a robust revenue growth of 8.9%, but reduced operating profit, as you say, which reflects our investment in our uh, Travis Perkins Builders Merchant business and our tool station business, but also reflects the impact of a restructuring charge at the end of the year. But we've seen tremendous uh, growth in tool station in the second half after a tough first half, mm. and actually great growth in our merchanting businesses. Actually, on an underlying basis, they posted a 3% increase in operating profit on the year. And the participation in our new destination branches, Steve, we were talking about, mm. and indeed our digital channels that we've really accelerated the development of in the last year mm. have been tremendous. And so much so, the board's confidence is reflected in the increased dividend that we are announcing today as On well. The macro so I'm very proud of the results. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And look, you're planning for a decline in overall market volumes in mid to high single digit range in 2023. Um, do you see signs that the UK is going into recession led by the housing sector or led by the construction sector or not? Well, I think the long-term fundamentals for the sector remain very, very good. Yep. Customers are telling us across the construction industry that we cover that actually re pipelines remain robust and the investment required to meet our net zero carbon targets are many and, and enduring into the long term. So even though there are short-term fluctuations in activity in various parts of the market, particularly in some of the smaller tradespeople reflecting consumer confidence after the mini budget in September. Actually, what we see is plenty of opportunity for growth both this year and beyond. Do you think we're going to go into recession? I think what I see is long term fundamentals for growth. Right. There's plenty of opportunity if you, as we are, really well divested, di diversified across our end markets to find growth and find opportunity. Sorry. I don't know why you're not answering the question, Nick. Do you think, uh, long, medium to longer term, I get what you're saying about the longer term, and, and that's great, and I'm really pleased about that. But do you think we're going into recession in the short term? I think that, that there's lots of uncertainty that remains okay. in the macro environment. Lots of uncertainty, okay. that's for sure. Um, and the, the way in which the impacts of inflation and interest rates plow it, play out this year is something we're watching very, very clearly. Okay. Yeah, say. let's talk a bit about that, because every, every builder I know has complained about, one, either access to materials, and then two, how much it's costing to get those materials. Mm -hmm. What is actually happening in current trading with input cost inflation? Well, we said today that actually we expect um, material price inflation to moderate, particularly during the second half of the year. Mm. We have the rollover effect of significant inflation right through 2022. And indeed, we've seen some price increases even in the early part of 2023. Mm. But we do expect that to moderate. It's very category specific. Any finished product with high en energy input cost, we would expect to see continued inflationary price rises. But there's a lot of commodity material that actually might move the other way. Say, so it, 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 the, the outlook is uncertain, but we would expect to see inf inflation on the year in the sort of mid to high single digits again, so but actually still mod increasing moderating costs. compared to 2022. Um, I, was, I was going to say, to China reopening, everyone's getting very excited about it. Does that actually have a material effect on, on the ability to source materials on the international markets? We've not seen really any significant impact in our ability to source materials from China or anywhere else okay. in Asia. Um, you know, the, the, the spike in demand that we saw in 2021, we, by virtue of our scale, were able to manage that with the, without customers really noticing, both in light side materials as well as the heavy side materials that we serve. So really there has been a, a negligible effect. 